My name's Peter Overzet. My name's Nicker. <laughs> My name's Nicker Colano. My name's Peter Overzet, and we're being held against our will by underdog fantasy to make this content. It's a new cult. We are waiting for a, a comet to fly over uh, the house, and then we will all uh, be peacefully killing ourselves. No, this isn't gonna go in the video. We're gonna show you where we're hanging out for the Super Bowl. Let's go. So first thing I'd like to mention is that if you can find where, we, where we're residing for the weekend, gate doesn't lock, so everybody's welcome. We put this sign up because Animal was supposed to show up for the weekend and uh, Animal decided that coming to LA was less important than going to a two-year-old's birthday party where he caught COVID. So Animal, I mean this in the most respectful way, but I hope you wind up in the hospital on a ventilator, but you survive and live a very long, healthy life afterwards. Our snacks are holding up a lot better without uh, Animal here. <laughs> <Very true. laughs> I mean, we are, we're doing good. So the first room in the house is... Yeah, what? you call this first room in the house? I mean, this feels like a therapy session type of room <laughs> yeah, where I lay down. down. Nick, how much money did you lose this year? Well, according to Sam, who's behind the scenes <laughs> and can tell me exactly how much I lost, it's literally seven times less than what Jack has lost on yeah. dog. I've seen your drafts. I just think you like running backs too much. I think, we, I think we could work on that. Tell me how that makes you feel. Pete, you're the one who's making me draft fucking Todd Gurley. <laughs> <laughs> this is like the most impractical room, and there are going to be plenty of impractical things in this house. This is this is what you call a flex room. There's no reason to have it, but you put up paintings and art and whatever. Step inside the most impractical wine. Get in the box, Sam. <laughs> Why it's encased, we don't know. What the rest of this space is supposed to be used for, I don't know. It's kind of like a wine penalty box. You have a party foul, you get sent in here, ponder what you did surrounded by these empty wine bottles. It would look cool if those were all low dose bottles. Yeah, oh shit. See, that that would be cool. Idea. We'll pitch that to Jeremy. Jeremy's gonna turn us down. No, he's not. There's no way he was. Little Easter egg for the super fans. Watch this for mid that. So we have this large living room with, I'll tell you, the lighting in here, exquisite. It's nice. That one, that one, Sam's hit his head multiple times uh, on this lamp already. These things, they don't even look like they work. Is anyone confirmed or denied? Who is right, these are real diamonds. Uh, I don't think anyone's gonna step foot in this room the entire time we're here. This is actually a practical room. This is the movie room. This is where Underdog is making us strap up for the Super Bowl. Yeah, they said we can't leave our seats for the duration of the game. And I swear to God, if anyone talks during the commercials, which are my favorite part of the game, I'm gonna lose it. What do you, I mean, we're, we are gonna have to kind of figure out our, our seating in here because I believe there's gonna be more than six of us watching this game, right? I don't think we're actually watching the Super Bowl in here, Pete. Why not? We're just watching YouTube live streams. When, jo when Josh and Aiden go live in the other room, we'll watch them on the big screen here. Wait, wait, you're trying to tell me that I flew all the way out to LA not to go to the Super Bowl and then to not watch the game in this room. I've been rubbed. We're gonna be lucky if, if we can even get the game on the fucking TV. <laughs> yeah, that's true. You come down this long corridor, you know, you wanna test your 40 time. There are not many houses available on the market where, where you can uh, pull off an entire fucking combine. You guys want to see the videographer's bedroom? Let's go through his dirty laundry. <laughs> <laughs> this is where Sam does all of his nasty stuff at night. This bathroom, I just want to point out one thing. Like, no one warned me about that. One of the great things about this house is the water pressure, guys. It almost <laughs> took my, my nose off. You know what I want to actually put on record here? Like, a lot of people like to point out whether or not a place has good water pressure. It's like one of the first things they do is like, oh, good water pressure at the shower. More important is the latency between the temperature switch. Correct or incorrect? Okay, I mean, flesh out what you mean by latency in this context. Okay, so my apartment in New York, like I turned the hot water on. This is the worst episode of MTV Cribs I've ever seen, by the way. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> four, four minutes it takes from it to go cold to hot in my apartment. You get here and it's three to four seconds. I think that must be a New York thing because it does not take four minutes for my uh, water. All right, we're gonna keep moving along. All right, uh, kitchen, this is usually the most enjoyable part of Cribs. Sam 
had organized us pre-trip and had us fill out like a Google form sheet of things that you want to stock the house with. You know, what kind of foods would you like? Do you want to cook anything? Do you have any dietary restrictions? Apparently the only thing anyone asked for was chips. 500 bags of chips, 500 bottles of champagne, 500 bottles of tequila. You got the Quattro for our, our Mars. Did you get the agave? Don't think I got oh, agave. Wow. I wasn't on the list. It was. We have Marg Mix. We have Marg Mix. Artificial ass Marg Mix. I already know the score is going to be a sub 6.5. <laughs> so last night Jeremy was at some party dinner thing and came home with a bunch of uh, very nice catered meals. Uh, so if anyone's hungry, it doesn't look like anyone got into these last night. We came back with like an entire, it was like a fish. Like we just have a very stinky fish in this fridge right now. <laughs> we were thinking about putting it in Jack's room. Do you know what I will say? I was the one that requested the Modelo's, uh, one of my favorite beers, and it appears everyone loves Modelo's because they're all gone now. We were getting rid of them quickly. Yeah. We were like, these are terrible. No, 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 they're not. Okay. Let's move over to the studio. This is where we're gonna be live streaming and making a lot of content. Just equipment everywhere. It took us so long to figure out how to set up like one live stream. You'd think after doing content for like five years, we'd be able to pull this off, but this is this is what big what big underdog doesn't want you to see behind the scenes. Us struggle. We're their premier content creators and we don't know what the fuck we're doing. Whenever I hold up this very nice fancy underdog mic, I feel like I'm cosplaying as Josh Norris. This is this is what it feels like to have the power of Josh Norris when you hold this mic. Do you that's feel a, like Hayden right now? That's a lot of power. Yeah. I don't feel like Hayden because Hayden's way too good looking for me to feel like this. <laughs> Hayden, by the way, for the record, Hayden's not in this video. I'm sure he'll make it onto the vlog. Hayden's beast. Hayden's like six, what was he, six two, six one maybe? Yeah. Tall guy, very handsome, very, uh, as they would say in the hills, fuckable. And I think also the thing, you know, for Hayden, he sits down at his desk, you know, most of the time for his shows. And I think a tip for Hayden would be, you know, stand up every once in a while, do a twirl on camera, let everyone kind of know what you're working with. Yeah, quick neck stretch maybe, not so much, not so much flex, stretch. Flex, stretch. This, of course, is where we have the firewood. Uh, Nick and I were up early this morning just making sure we had enough on hand to get us through, you know, the 80 degree winters here in Los Angeles. <laughs> this is the pool. We got a, uh, that's off the master bedroom up there. Liz from Underdog has made it explicitly clear that no one should jump from up there into the pool, which really just makes me want to jump from up there into the pool. I put the over under on pool jump. About as much of a lock as I put that Joe Burrow over one head. Uh, I will say in her defense, five feet, not that deep. We need to show Jack's room and just how absurd it is that he drew the master bedroom to have all for himself. Welcome to the uh, the upstairs, which seemingly has a decorative exercise bike. Like I can't imagine that anyone is actually going to put it. Yeah, there. we're like, gonna we're do there. a team workout. Yeah, those aren't even real dumbbells. Those are IKEA dumbbells. They're actually hollow inside. Wait, is everything on in this house like for sale? Uh, the only nice thing room. worth seeing up here is Jack's yeah. enormous fucking room. Welcome to Jack's bedroom that he won in a totally provably random way in a Twitter DM thread that none of us are salty about at all. This is like a literally, literally what I imagine like Jamar Chase's bedroom would look like. Yeah, he wasted no time. Normal people come to an Airbnb for a weekend, have like three t-shirts, a hoodie. Jack's got full memorabilia. Jack, Jack <laughs> literally has a side Jamar Chase. Look at this. So Jack has used a, a very, you know, spacious walk-in closet. There's an entire other walk-in closet that is completely untapped. I'm surprised, I want Jack to put, give me, give me Jack's Jamar Chase ball. <laughs> on its own little shelf in here. This will be his trophy room. These are the kind of perks you get when you're the head of winning, apparently, at underdog. Here we go. Now he has a nice trophy room there. Yeah, get proper sunlight on there. I love how cute Jack is, laying out all the shoes. He went to uh, the Nike house here or something. They just gave him two free pairs of shoes. Yeah. It must be nice to be Jack. The world apparently opens up for you when you have a million Snapchat followers. Has anyone actually ever confirmed that? He just says that and no one, none it's of us it. are on Snapchat. No one even knows. It's in every bio. Yeah. Here's the, the master bathroom here. Again, just aggressively big. A lot of wasted space here. I think I would go with a double 
double bathtub setup here. I think we hit the showers after the big game. So <laughs> yeah. I'll take the tub and take there. Unbelievable. Then we have the, uh, the balcony here, which. The balcony, which we're jumping off of soon. I think we came. Give me one good reason not to, Liz. I think I can do it. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Whose house do you think that is? Probably Nicholas Cage. Very elongated laundry room. Oh, shit. I stuck in the wall. Put clothes in there. Did you? Yeah. Wow, this is a, a real authentic to it. This is just a man, a content creator, hard at work doing Cut his laundry. No, nope. <laughs> please include that. Show us the tidy whities Or boxer briefs. <laughs> Who does laundry on like a three day vacation? I haven't been home in two weeks. <laughs> oh yeah, you were in San Diego. Say it again, say it louder for the people. No. <laughs> Who does laundry on a three day vacation? <laughs> Jack's probably gonna have someone to come here and do his laundry for him. I think the MTV crib, you show them the door, right? You kick them out. Yeah. They always say like, they make it like they have something they gotta do later. Like, well, now it's time to say bye to you. <laughs> Plot twist, we don't. Because we gotta go rearrange that Jamar Chase <laughs> football in Jack's room. And then they always turn around and they say, see ya.